This video lesson teaches the basic matrix and vector calculations in MATLAB software. Let's enter some matrices. Capital A is equal to the elements are 1, 2 in the first row and 3, 4 in the second row. And similarly, the rows can be marked by using semicolon. So similarly, we can enter matrix B as 5, 6, 7, 8 and matrix C as 9, 10, 11, 12, some random numbers for elements just to practice matrix calculations in MATLAB. If we want to add matrices, we can enter A plus B. So let's say we want to add an A plus B. We get the addition of A matrix and B matrix. Let's say we want to subtract two matrices. We can enter A minus B. So we get like that. For multiplication, we can type A asterisk B. So, it looks like similar to Microsoft Excel function in this mode. But we can use this for pure matrix multiplication only. Let's say we have two matrices which have different numbers of rows and columns. Then it will not work. So, we can see that by entering such two matrices, let's enter capital D is equal to 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the way I entered, we can check the size of the matrix D. The size is a 3 by 2 matrix. size of a is 2 by 2 so let's multiply a and d we get an error as inner matrix dimensions must agree so it doesn't mean that we can't multiply these two we can transpose matrix d transpose of a matrix can be done by the apostrophe mark so transpose of D is a 2 by 3 matrix so we can multiply 2 by 2 and 2 by 3 matrices we get the answer so we can divide two matrices by using forward slash a forward slash B so we get the division of matrices and there is a backslash division too let's discuss it later for the moment we can understand the function of forward slash and backslash by using some numbers let's say 2 forward slash 5 and 2 backward slash 5 so we can understand the difference of forward slash and backward slash by this kind of simple example so we need to use the right slash for our requirement Next, let's see what the order of mathematical operations in MATLAB is. It's similar what we know from the basic arithmetics. Anything in the parenthesis is calculated first and then multiplication and division. Finally, addition and subtraction. So we can try A plus B multiplied by C first. So we get the answer and then we can verify the calculation order by ourselves. Let's say capital X is equal to B multiplied by C. And then we add A plus capital X. We'll give the same result as previous. So we know multiplication happens first. Then we can check the parentheses. Let's say within parentheses A plus B multiplied by C. And we get the answer in MATLAB in that way. And we can check capital Y is equal to A plus B. Then capital Y multiplied by C. 
we get the same answer so that the parenthesis operates first. In MATLAB coding, we may need the element by element multiplication sometimes in a matrix. So we can do it by just typing a dot as a dot asterisk b. So we get each element in a matrix is multiplied by the corresponding element in the other matrix. This can be performed for divisions also. A dot division B. So we get the each element divided by the corresponding element in the other matrix. Okay, those are simple mathematical operations for matrix calculations. In linear algebra, we learn three types of multiplications about matrices and vectors. Let's enter simple x matrix is equal to 2, 4, 6. And simple y matrix is equal to 1, 5, 10. So first type is inner product or dot product. We know that simple x is a 1 by 3 vector and simple y is also a 1 by 3 vector. So the dot multiplication of these two vectors should give us a scalar. So we can get it by simple x multiplied by the transpose of y so we get the answer as a scalar one more way to get the dot product is we can use the command dot and the two vectors within parentheses so we can get the same answer Okay, that is the dot product or inner product. So the second type is outer product. Instead of transposing y, let's say we transposed x. So 3 by 1 vector multiplied by 1 by 3 vector. So that is that will not give us a scalar. So that will be finally a 3 by 3 vector. So that's our outer product. There's no dedicated command for outer product in MATLAB software, but we can do the outer product in this way. So the last type of multiplication is the cross product. In linear algebra, we have learned that cross product of two vectors is equal to the multiplication of the magnitudes of the two vectors times the sine of angle between the two vectors. The direction of the product vector is given by the right hand rule. So that's the simple theory about the vector multiplication for cross product. The dot product or inner product of two vectors is not a vector and it doesn't have a direction. But the cross product is a vector again. So we have a direction. So it's uh, pretty simple to do in MATLAB we can use the command cross within parenthesis the two vectors so cross x y we can get the cross product in this way then let's see some simple commands which can be used for mathematical calculations the built-in commands in matlab in real quick so we can use trigonometric functions as they are like Examples are type sine 0 will give us 0 and cos 0 will give us 1 and tangent 0 will give us 0. So we can apply this to matrices also. Sine A will give us sine of each element in matrix A and we can check it by sine 1, sine 2, sine 3 and sine 4.
for exponential we can use exp exp1 exp2 we can check for natural logarithm we can use log so let's type log 1 log 2 and to check we can type log exponential to equals to 2 for square root we can use sqrt command so sqrt let's say 25 equals to 5 and sqrt 10 will give us the value in MATLAB there are built-in constants one example is pi so pi will give us the value for pi let's say if we define pi as a variable in our MATLAB code like pi is equal to 20 then we can't use the value of the built-in pi anymore so if such thing happened we can remove our entered variable from the workspace after that we can use the function of pi again so it's better to avoid overwriting built-in constants when we are coding in MATLAB then one important symbol is simple i if we get square root of minus 1 we get simple i so we have to avoid defining simple i as a symbol in our codes okay for identity matrix we can use i function e y e i function let's say capital i matrix is equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 that means 3 by 3 identity matrix so we can get the same thing by e by e3 and similarly for null matrices we can use zeros function if we type zeros 3 we can get the 3 by 3 matrix with all elements 0 similarly we can use ones 3 by 3 to get a matrix with all elements are 1 so to summarize what we learned in this video lesson we discussed how to perform matrix and vector calculations in MATLAB the simple calculations in MATLAB and as well as we learned few functions and operations available you can read more about the functions available in MATLAB using the documentation under help tab So in the next video lesson, let's discuss how to define our own functions and create a script file or an M file for MATLAB coding.